So Dr. Oz liked to make fun of me missing a word or mushing two words together. So let me give you an example of what it's like to have having a stroke. So sometimes, for example, imagine you were going to be thinking you were shopping at Wegmans, but you were actually in a Redner's, but then you told everybody that you're in Wegner's. That's how it works. That is John Fetterman, who has been blazing a trail for progressive Democrats in his current bid for U.S. Senate in Pennsylvania. Championing progressive policy that supports marijuana legalization and abortion rights, Fetterman has dominated the progressive political landscape with a sense of grit and unruly politics despite suffering from stroke earlier this year. In response to this and his own floundering bid for the same seat, Dr. Oz's campaign chose to taunt Fetterman's continuing recovery, with a spokesman for the doctor's campaign saying, if John Fetterman had ever eaten a vegetable in his life, then maybe he wouldn't have had a major stroke and wouldn't be in the position of having to lie about it constantly. As if conservatives haven't supported other Republican officials in the past with a long history of health issues. Despite this, Fetterman's appeal, homegrown and unconventional, is proving a popular alternative to the counterfeit campaign that Dr. Oz is attempting to sell to the American people. My opponent's not out there. People packed a Bayfront Convention Center and cheered when Fetterman came on stage. He's hiding. I asked Dr. Mehmet Oz if he'd like to sit down for an interview and he didn't say yes. But John Fetterman did. They don't see him. Today I sat down with John Fetterman. John Fetterman for a one-on-one -on -one interview. John Fetterman. I just needed him to come out and play. John Fetterman held a rally in Hermitage this afternoon. You're not going to show up in the campaign trail. More than 3,000 people were on hand yesterday to hear the lieutenant governor speak. He refuses to leave his home. John Fetterman held back-to-back -back rallies, campaigned at a neighborhood rec center in northwest Philadelphia, and then traveled to the Lehigh Valley. He has not been out campaigning. Senate candidate John Fetterman held a big rally today in Pittsburgh with Steelers legend Franco Harris. It's the Oz rule. When he's on TV, he's lying. Fetterman points to an important reminder about Dr. Oz. He will channel any persona he needs to to convince the people of Pennsylvania that he has their best interests at heart and not his own. Dr. Oz is not from Pennsylvania, not familiar with the concerns of that constituency. At best, this is just another stepping stone in Oz's lengthy career of leveraging his popularity to manipulate the American people for his own financial or personal well-being. How are you? I'm Carmine Bassiano, WPAT 930 uh, on your AM dial, Teddy Smith Show. Uh, how does it feel to be uh, at this uh, wonderful event uh, being a presenter? Well, I'm from New Jersey. People have bounced around and they know how to take a joke. It's classic New Jersey. Who in the future would you like to see be inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame if you had to pick a few people? Uh, great surgeons. <laughs> On the contrary, the incumbent lieutenant governor was born and raised in Pennsylvania and continues to reflect the political ideals and values of his community in both substance and fervor. Thankfully, Betterman is recovering well and hopes to send Dr. Oz back to where he came from, New Jersey. This is Adrian Costa of Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos.